everyone welcome back to my channel it seems like it's been weeks since I filmed here I've done quite a few collaborations and filmed with sort of other brands and people that hasn't come out yet so I have been around and have been filming but not really here on the I was gonna say on the Death Star on my home planet <laughs> um, this will be more of a significant empties video as opposed to just a load of shampoo and conditioner which is what we get through at a speedy rate um, this has more skincare and some makeup, so without further ado, uh, let's start with one of the obvious ones. Emma Hardy Moringa Balm. I do not know how many of these I've been through since Emma launched this, but it's all gone, all empty. Still has that lovely smell though. Ooh. They recently um, launched the Marks and Spencers and released a three pack for travel. Um, which is brilliant because they're just that bit smaller and not as bulky because I, although I love a pot when you're traveling it's a bit cumbersome so they're perfect they're much smaller so I'm sure one of those will be in my next empties um, so that's Emma Hardy next up what's next <laughs> um, we are a family of hand washers which sounds a bit weird but I think for with years and years of beauty school training and it's always about cleanliness and clean hands and have you washed your hands and da 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 and I've kind of that's gone into the kids so they're the same and Mr Horan's is the same so we are a family of hand cream aficionados this one was really popular this is Meramaya and it's called Confidential S-U-A-L not confidential Confidential hand wash it smells um, like the Meramaya skincare um, slightly stronger actually which everyone seems to love there was no um, it's not too girly the men seem to like it and it's very gentle and there's no harsh dryness afterwards so if you like Meramaya smell and you um, if you like the smell and you've appreciated their skincare in the past it might be worth checking that one out I saw it in John Lewis actually last week I was in there with mother doing a bit of beauty shopping and saw it there um, while we're on the subject of hands this is just my little um, travel size but this is Clarins hand and nail treatment cream one of my sort of I would say top three hand creams of all time this was used to be in my bag now normally it's too messy to do here and I remember on the last favorites video someone had left a comment saying you should cut all your tubes in half there's much more product left I do I normally would cut it scoop everything out push the lid back down onto it so it looks like it's sort of had half its body missing and use up what's inside which I will but that doesn't make for nice filming and the product gets everywhere when you're waiting to film so don't worry I don't waste waste not want not um Clarins hand and nail treatment love 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 oh my god love. what's this this is one of the children's but also used by the older members of the family this is Sam Farmer uh Sam's conditioner Sam is a unisex brand for young teens and I think Ava was the one who finished this off actually um made to make you shine the rest is up to you Sam who you will have seen if you read the blog um is a dad who took his teenage daughter into a well-known supermarket to buy her some deodorant I think or body spray and was horrified by the plethora of pink sexiness things considering she's a young girl now having a 13 year old I know exactly where he's coming from so Sam's range is unisex it doesn't sort of give you fluffy pink and steel blue it's all designed to be used by both sexes there's no sex messaging which is what we want for our teens let's be fair um, but on the other hand the products are also extremely affordable and they bloody work so well done Mr Farmer we have one of these in backup but yes score uh, moving on Ooh, some hair things from me sorry about the rumbling but like I said it's all in a big tub um, grow gorgeous, go grow gorgeous. Uh -huh. That's easy for me to say. Not cleansing conditioner brunette. I've used this up before. I think this is actually my third tube. This I love because I wash my hair a lot, and it's a cleansing conditioner. So it's a one wash step. You don't do a shampoo and conditioner separately. It's not loaded. Well, it doesn't feel like it's loaded with. Um, SPF and silicone it just does the job and you can comb your hair through lovely afterwards um, yeah I mean it's not uh, it's I think it's 17 or 18 pounds but 
I tend to keep this and the reason it's empty is because I tend to keep it for when um, I'm either in a hurry or I'm traveling because when you're traveling it's a godsend and I travel quite a bit so um, Grow Gorgeous cleansing conditioner they do make one for blondes as well I use the brunette because this bit's not real this is my color um, love it da -da -da -da. let's do some body lotions because I'm a bit of a body lotion freak and at last count I have one two three four four <laughs> two are the same actually oh no they're not the same i thought they were the same oh, see clarins now clarins body products are something i've used for probably 20 years maybe no how old am i yeah about 20 years um moisture rich body lotion and extra firming body lotion you can see i've kind of mullered them to get it all out again these will be cut so don't worry people um this one is great for a drier skin and the extra firming is great for your wobbly bits. Now what I tend to do with body products is do different creams for different areas and people always say, God, it takes so much time. It doesn't, it takes seconds. If you have them in front of you in the morning, when you get up, you do your deodorant and then I'll go in with something like, for example, I know moisture rich body lotion would be used on the legs, extra firming on the rear end and the middle. And then they do a really nice serum, which will probably be in my next empties, which is around the arms. And the bonus of that is people are like, you know, well, that's a lot of product, but you're not using it all over the body. You're using it in dedicated areas. So it lasts longer. Um, so yes, Clarins always in my top game for body products. They're luscious and they need to be cut in half because there's a bit left in this one as well. Oh, I just love chucking them in. Uh, two more. These are down the more affordable scale. Norwegian formula from Neutrogenia. From Neutrogenia. That's a new name for them. Neutrogena with Nordic Berry. That's this one. Um, again, this has a bit of weight left in it. The only thing I don't like is that the pump is always shorter than the actual length of the bottle. So you end up having to do all this. So I will, but I will. Um, that's really lovely, really good for dry skin. My body skin tends to air on the drier side, so I like a good thick cream. This one's lovely. This one, I, I'm not gonna lie, I bought for the smell. I had no idea if it even worked. It does. I don't know why I didn't buy two. I'm clearly an idiot. Oh, this was on the blog recently as well. This is Citrus Coconut Essence of Beauty, and I either bought it from CVS or Ulta in the States. I can't remember which one. I'm sorry, but you'll find it on one of them. And it, it was literally, it was on a three for two and it was less than $10 for three. So yeah, much more affordable for you US citizens. Um, artificial dye and paraben free, citrus coconut, I just love the smell. And it's a really nice body lotion and cheap as chips. Lovely. Let's do some hair. <laughs> now, previous viewers will have remembered when I first spoke about OGX shampoo and conditioner. That is now something that the family has an issue with in terms of we love it and now we all buy different ones. So Kukui, Kukui? Kukui shampoo, done. Um, the Argan Oil shampoo, done. That was Mr. Hirons, he loves that one. Coconut milk, two conditioners, see? Always two conditioners. Um, I bought this one because I love coconut smells, as you can see from the previous body lotion choices. And they were, again, they were on some kind of offer in Waitrose for the UK, but it was a while ago, so they probably won't be now. But yes, we are now a completely converted OGX Organics. Formerly Organics. Oh, okay, well, I don't wanna offend anyone, but it's Organics OGX. Them, Lush. Last hair thing is actually a styling product that I think I mentioned previously. This is Instant Hair Repair. It's it's Kerastars After Sun. It's designed as a sort of after sun treatment when you've been on holiday or in the sunshine. I put it on as an after sun when I'm, not an after sun, I use it as a leave-in conditioner when I've shampooed my hair and conditioned it and then I'm gonna put my hair in a bun. So it's a bit like an added treat. I would generally just pull it all through the ends, a bit through the front and then do uh, my usual bun and then go about the day. And I loved this. If I then went on to blow dry, it did keep everything very um, smooth and helped contain frizz. So it's not what it says it's designed to do, but it does work. There you go. Oh, let's do some makeup. Um, 
again, as with Emma Hardy, I don't know how many tubes of this I have used, but Chantecaille Just Skin here is almost completely flat. It's totally mullered. Um, I believe this was tan, judging by the lack of lettering left. It's all worn off. Um, I wear this every single day. I love it. It's not too heavy, although it's a tinted moisturiser. It's much closer to a foundation than a tinted moisturiser. Some tinted moisturisers just sort of go like, and that's your coverage. This gives you coverage. And yes, it's expensive, but at my age, I would rather spend more on a foundation and good skincare and just sort of not worry too much about the actual makeup whereas when you're younger you tend to want to buy really expensive eyeshadows and powders and da 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 and you don't really have to worry about the base if that makes sense um i love this i've used it for years it's still pretty unbeatable if i'm honest so that's chantecaille just skin and i don't cut this one in half because it's extremely messy and you do because it's almost like a foil toothpaste you do manage to get i would say 99 percent of it out uh, this one is a good one and a bad one in that this is Studio 10's brow pencil and I've worn it down to a stub so I can't even begin to tell you what it's called but it's Studio 10's brow and now it's double-ended so here's the actual brow pencil and then it comes with this other end that I have not touched it would have given me much more pleasure if it was and this is like a pale white so I assume it's to sort of give definition on the upper brow I didn't use it at all but the pencil part I loved and this is the second one I've used right down to the stubby stub of the pencil bit or the brow pencil bit the color and then not even touched the other end so it kind of feels like a waste but then I enjoy using half of it down to the bitter end but it might be something you're interested in it just it's a softer eyebrow pencil I don't like really harsh really thin ones that give you like that little fine precision i kind of like a bit more oomph um and this one does that this is 01 universal so it looks like there's only one color number one <laughs> um but yeah this one i know is sort of designed to give you the oomphy the end but i didn't use it maybe you think i think i tried it on the very first pencil and never went back again but the other end yay mm, yay Moving on to skincare, um, these are ones, actually all of these are ones that I have worked through more than once. The first completely empty is Tata Harper Hydrating Floral Essence Moisturising Toner. I love this product. Um, I can't even demo. Oh, 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 no, no. Um, this I used a lot after acid toning obviously and yeah not much more to say about it it's been on the blog it's in my top 10 spritzes that were on the blog last week love it love it love it <laughs> two eye products one is kate somerville line release this is completely empty the good thing about kate somerville is that they have that lovely little window at the side so you can see when your time is up basically so i knew it was coming to an end this is great for um, a skin sort of over 30 or anyone who's really um, has issues with lines, fine lines and wrinkles. And it's literally called line release for that reason. That's loaded with peptides. Lovely. This is Start Over Active Eye Cream from Sunday Riley. I think this is also my second of that. This is completely empty, which surprised me because you would think that only having the tube like that, you wouldn't be able to get to the bottom but it is all gone. Um, and again, this is corrective, puffiness, dark circles, fine lines, done. And then the last two, again, are both Kate Somerville that I have worn out. First one is neck tissue repair, this one. Although you don't necessarily have to um, use a dedicated neck cream, if you're someone who is worried about having a turkey neck and jowls and da 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 da, and then this, again, I cannot tell you how many of these I've been through. Look, that's just totally, this is all air pumped and it's dead. Um, Kate Somerville Deep Tissue Repair. In my Desert Island products, one of my favourite creams ever in the history of the world. I just love deep tissue repair. I don't even know what else to say. 
Um, you can use it alone or over a serum. I actually use this as my serum and use a really light moisturiser on top. Um, but again, you don't have to do that. It's just the way I choose to use it. Um, that is lush. And yes, I have a backup. Um, and that's it. A few skincare, lots of hair and body. So I hope it was interesting. Um, this is just going to kick off uh, the, my sort of latest spate of videos and I, also I wanted to get them out of the way which I know I said last time but it's true I keep sort of Muji drawers at the side of my dressing table and once they get too full I'm like mm, might want to do a video so thank you for watching and I will see you this is going to go up pretty soon so I will see you on Sunday for a what's new stroke things I'm obsessed with which I'm filming next and I'm very excited about and then yeah who knows Thanks for watching, bye. Can you shut up? Idiot. <laughs>